So what does a TI mean in a NVIDIA graphics card? Hello, my name is Jay and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today we're going to answer that question. And I'm going to answer this question multiple ways because whether or not you think about it or not, I actually had one way of answering this question. And when you Google it, it's not the answer you get. So I'm going to explain there's actually two ways you can be thinking about this question. Number one, you want to know what the letters TI actually stand for. And number two, you also want to know what the TI stands for in terms of performance, like what is the ten, difference between a 1070 and 1070 TI, or maybe whatever you have in the future, 1080 TI versus a uh, 2080 TI versus a 2080. So basically I'm going to go over all those and do separate parts of the video and we'll basically go over it so no matter like what you're here for, you get your question answered. Yeah, we'll move on. So first off, to start off with what the TI actually stands for, it's supposed to mean titanium. Now, you're thinking, okay, that's cool. Um, I mean, I, I was expecting it to mean like, you know, stand for something, but no, it's literally just titanium. Um, I've actually thought about this a little bit more too. And if you think about it, um, MSI has a titanium branded cooler um, card. And I do this for like the 1080s, 1080 Ti's, things like that. And I would think if they name something like a 1080 titanium and the 1080 Ti is supposed to stand for 1080 titanium, that just gets a little confusing. Um, just interesting way of naming things uh, from MSI uh, following kind of that path. Um, next up, let's talk about the differences between like a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1070, 1070 Ti, 1080, 1080 Ti, all that stuff. So the best way to describe this is usually there is some difference between like a 1050 to a 1050 Ti that it kind of puts it in between the level up, like a 1050 to a 1060, kind of puts it in the middle. Now how NVIDIA does this is usually either by adding more video memory, for example the 1050 Ti, the 1080 Ti usually has slightly more video memory, and of course more cores in some circumstances, CUDA cores in more, some circumstances, um, and I'm sure when we get more ray tracing cores, I'm sure there will be differences in ray tracing cores too. Um, but you'll get differences in things like that. And usually it's either they'll have more video memory, um, they'll add more CUDA cores, or they'll add a, more co a combination of both to kind of push it up to in between the next, um, next whole letter, or not letter, number, next whole number and the current uh, number, it'll be somewhere in between. And they'll push it, use a combination of those to push it forward. Now, before you go, well, what about the 1060? Now, if you're unfamiliar, and I'm planning this video to kind of stay up for a long time and hopefully be relevant for a long time, if you're watching this video a couple of years in the future, oh gosh, that'll be a long time. Uh, hello from the past. Um, the 1060 has, I believe, five different models that are all named 1060. There is no TI, there is no nothing. It is just 10 or fi five different models of the same name, but they are performing way differently. So we've got a 1060. Um, 3 gigabyte model of GDDR5. We've got a 1060 with 6 gigabytes of video memory with GDDR5. We've got a 5 gigabytes of video memory with GDDR5. I think we have a, another card with 5 gigabytes of GDDR5X. We got another card with 6 gigabytes of GDDR5X. And as you can tell, they've not only up the like, there's a lot of like technically TIs. You'd have to go like 1060 TI, 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 which is probably why they didn't add the TI in the first place. But you kind of get the point is that even though there's not a TI there, there's still performance increases and performance differences to be had. For example, the 1030, uh, which is the GT 1030, which you're unfamiliar is literally like the lo lower than a 1050. The GT 1030 has differences between DDR3 and GDR5. And there are actually differences, and those heavily affect the performance, but they're also named the same. So, as being someone that's, you know, you're watching this video trying to figure out what the difference is and what, you know, which one you should buy, I honestly couldn't tell you in like a right state of mind that you should just base, uh, you know, hey, the 1080 Ti performs better, or maybe you're getting a 1060 and you're like, well, yeah, I want to get a 1060. Um, do your research because the differences in like performance, something that's named the same. Uh, I'm assuming NVIDIA may do this in the future, I'm not sure, um, but at least from now looking at what we've seen currently uh, with concrete evidence, I would say that um, yes, a TI may be something for you uh, and you may want to consider it, but just make sure you know that what you're getting, maybe if you're not getting a mod, uh, full, like a TI model, maybe you're just getting your base, like a regular model, like a 1060, and you're getting a 1060, or 1070, 1060, and you're looking, just do your research to make sure you're getting um, 
something that you want that's also not going to be like heavily performance increase or maybe just different naming schemes and they didn't name it well so you're having a difficulty finding the actual performance um, or the I guess notice the differences in between they may just be slight differences in the same model I guess took a while to say um, but that's kind of the differences in between those models and of course um, as I said, they usually do this by upgrading the memory, CUDA cores, things like that. And then in the 20 series, we've seen like 2080, 2080 Ti. Uh, we currently have a 2070. I would expect to see a 2070 Ti, maybe a 2060, 2050, things like that. But I'm assuming the Ti models, of course, will be kind of like the bridge models between the 1080 or 1070 and 1080, things like that. Um, kind of usually when NVIDIA has a market to exploit, not NVIDIA, AMD has a product that exploits that market, they'll usually come up with something to kind of bridge that market, usually by adding a little bit more video memory or doing a little bit something different, trying to make it a little bit more difficult for AMD to get in there. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up. And as always, uh, check out my channel for other cool tech related news, videos, reviews. Um, I've got a lot of cool things coming up really soon. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching.